Price, best known as Skippy from the beloved 80s sitcom Family Ties, is a multi-talented performer who has conjured, conquered the worlds of stand-up comedy, acting, hosting, and even writing and producing. Yeah, he's in town for a show at Zany's in Rosemont, and he joins us now with the details. Welcome. Thank you so much. Uh, it's a obligatory right before Election Day for me to remind everybody you got to get out there and vote. Okay, there you yeah. go. This is Chicago. You yes. can vote three or four times. Oh. <laughs> Allegedly. And that's just the dead people. <laughs> that's so true. Love it. Love I it. I live in uh, California where everybody's crazy liberal. Wow. It's, 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 I think there's something in the kale. Yeah. They're, they're too liberal. They're too liberal. They're too okay. woke. Yeah. I'm like, take a nap. Take a nap. Take a, a nap. little bit. Maybe they had too much express out. Uh, so, fun, you're going to be here in town for a show at Zany's. You know, we, we were just talking to uh, Jeff Hiller, and he was saying that he loves the Chicago crowd. How do you feel about it? Oh, the audiences are the best. We're at Zany's Rosemont, which Rosemont. is the suburbs. Yeah. I used to play the big cities. Oh. Now I'm in the suburbs, and it's, I love it. I do, love it out there. Do they go to bed earlier in the suburbs? They go to bed earlier. They're more, they remember family ties. They're more my people. <laughs> I but I remember when um, Bert Haas, who started the Zany's, you know, way back when, 1979 yeah. or something. You know, there's not a lot of clubs that are still uh -huh. going since then. Uh -huh. And uh, he said that he built the Rosemont Zany's for the comedians to come and on, on your way home from your weekend. You can do a Sunday. Hilarious. And that's what I'm doing. Oh, that's <laughs> so smart. Because it's right near your own hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so that's smart. interesting. I never thought about it that way. <laughs> I mean, you were, you were born into... Hollywood and the whole, were both your parents performers? Yeah, it wasn't. I moved to Hollywood a little later, but my parents were performers on the East Coast, okay. and my dad had an amazing career. My mom had an amazing career, too. She always, mm -hmm. she hates it that I leave her out sometimes. <laughs> but my dad was on the radio with Fred Allen. He was on Ed Sullivan nine times. Oh, he wow. did, worked with Sammy Davis Jr., oh and he was gosh. friends with everybody. And My so, mom did great stuff, too. She was a singer. Okay. okay. And uh, they used to perform together, and then they would bring me out at the end of the show. Oh. I, I was a cheap device for applause. That's so cute. Cute that. Ah, oh well, that probably gosh. is how you got hooked. I, then, right? How else? What else are you going to do? Yeah. You get the, wait, wait a minute. That's for me. That's yeah. all I know, right? Oh, so you didn't have the parents that tried to advise you, don't do this, don't go into My this business. My mom did. She was totally oh. didn't want me to be in show business. At some point, she decided she hated show business. She figured out she hated my father. Oh. And uh, she had it planned for me to go to Cornell and have a family and make all the right decisions. But my dad said, come to Hollywood. You'll hang out at comedy clubs and get on a sitcom. And it, it, my mom's plan didn't have a chance. Did, did Oh, wow. So how old were you when you started doing the stand-up? I, with my dad, as early as I could remember, I'd get on stage with him, and okay. trade jokes and stuff. And then when I was 14, I went on the Merv Griffin show. You did? As a little oh, kid cool. comedian. That's cool. That's cool. I and pointed at the band when I walked out. Like, I've been doing it for a million years. That's amazing. Is that how you ended up getting Family Ties? Because you were on Merv Griffin? In part, in part. I had actually maybe done a, a segment on Family Ties already, maybe when Merv Griffin, I don't know if I'd done that yet, but... Uh, so NBC called me in because of the Merv Griffin. Oh, okay. okay, And then yeah. they, uh, they helped with the uh, Family Ties producers. They were like, hey, maybe you want to... They nudged him. Look at this kid. Yeah. 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 Look at this kid. He, he yeah. knows people. Do you have a favorite? Do you prefer stand-up over acting yeah. or writing yeah, yeah, producing? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Why is that? Just because it's what I do. It's what I live for. I love it. The, you can't beat it. You can't replicate it. Yeah. Making movies is fun, and I have made a movie this year for the first time in a million years. Ah. Okay. All right. Uh, Tell us about it. Well, it's called Witchy Ways, and uh, in the 80s, there's a horror movie that's screening tomorrow night on Halloween yeah. here in town at the I.O., Okay. and it's called Trick or Treat. Okay. And it's with Ozzy Osbourne and Gene Simmons. Oh, man. And it's got a great heavy metal soundtrack. And in that movie, it was with the times because back then they were concerned about heavy metal music affecting yeah. kids' brains. There were warning labels. And so the movie jumped all over that. And it's timely. And it was in those days. And they had... Um, the heavy metal rocker comes back from the dead and starts killing his fans. Oh. And I'm his number one fan, but I've got to take him on to okay. save the world. Save the world. But this new movie, it's 2024. Right. Version. So I get attacked by a trans ghost. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> it's one of these years. Like, like, well, it's, well. <laughs> aren't, aren't, aren't all ghosts in transition? Yes. The director would correct me and say, it's a, not a trans ghost, it's a trans actress that gets... Uh, Entered by a ghost. That sounded weird. weird. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and it's Candace Kane, who's fantastic. Yeah. And she's beautiful, and she's funny, and she steals the movie, and it was a it was a pleasure. 
How okay. Fun. When does that come out? So they're working on it right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. But you finished filming. Witchy Waste. Done shooting, witchy done editing. They're working on which platform. It'll, okay. It won't be in the theaters. It'll probably be in a, on a platform. Okay. Well, there you go. Are That's you the working on right? a new hour, stand up hour? Always. Always? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Constantly Are just you gonna film redoing it? and stuff like that. You never know when okay. a big stand up special happens. Yeah. I love I mean, that. You have been busy. I mean, you've done what? Game shows? You've had your own talk show? You're even like a, a pitchman for an insurance? I did, I did my own talk show for one week on CBS, by the way. I got, I got one week. That was it? <laughs> hey, I thought it was a lot of people. That. <laughs> it, 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 that's true. And right. it was a, a real fantasy because uh, there I was with the desk and the band and everything. They had a different host each week for 11 weeks. Oh. And I did the last, the 11th week. Bill Maher did the week before me. And that was the predecessor to uh, Politically show. Incorrect. Yes. And oh. his new show Look that's been on you. for... You're groundbreaking. Uh, you're groundbreaking. I don't know, like groundbreaking. But, I mean, uh, I don't know. That was a trip. I remember watching it at home, and we were on up against David Letterman. Yeah. And I wouldn't even watch. I would just go back and forth. Letterman, me. <laughs> me, Letterman. <laughs> And you always I had a clicker back then. That's yeah. how long ago. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us about your show. I mean, are you talking about what are you, what are you talking about in your show? We. I grew up in Hollywood yeah. as a child in the '80s. Michael Jackson never touched me, <laughs> and so I talk a little bit about you know growing up in my real life and stuff. But a lot of people want to know what can they expect from my comedy show. Yeah. I say not a refund. <laughs> and then I explain that because my dad came from the Catskill Mountains, I don't even know if you're yes. familiar with that, George yeah. Burns mm -hmm. and those kind of guys, mm -hmm. Joey Bishop and yep. stuff. And then he dropped me off at the comedy store, and that was Jim Carrey and Sam Kinison. And you grew up fast then, huh? I, well, yeah, I was yeah. a teenager. I was, I was, I think I was a pretty adult. I was a little, you know, you know, all kid performers are too yeah, adult, yeah. Yeah, that's too true. young. Yeah. You ever yeah. see a little girl on one of those? Uh, Judges shows on TV and they're bumping oh out goodness, a yeah. tune they can't possibly comprehend the lyrics the words, to yes. at seven years old. Yes, 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 memories. Yes. You don't have any memories. You're yes. seven <laughs> years old. Yeah. Memories of what? When you were six? Right. Yeah. When you're yeah. seven. Anyway, I was one of the, I was a little kid, uh, adult, you know. Divorce is rough, you know. I, yeah. was, I was 13. You was 13. Don't even understand what's was, going my on. My dad's but... divorce was rough. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's cool, though. Oh, that, that'll be fun. So I have to ask you, because, you know, we didn't talk a lot about family ties. Do you, do you, how do you feel about talking about that? Do you... I, I'm not against talking about family ties. I'm oh, not okay. one of those people. Don't okay. talk no. to me about my biggest thing yeah. that everybody knows me from. Right. Don't call me Skippy. Uh -huh. right. uh -huh. I've grown to cope. Skippy is like my... Uh, Rapper name or something. Yeah, well, I mean, you made Skippy who he is. So my, that's got to be part of you, right? It's my stripper name. It's your stripper, <laughs> stripper name. <laughs> and it is a part of who I am. Yeah, because yeah, you, you call yourself Mark Skippy Price, right? I've grown to cope with the moniker. Yeah. Oh, oh well, you didn't create it? Somebody else did? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. But he was such a beloved character on that mm -hmm. show, too, because I, I think everybody could see a little Skippy in themselves, right? Indeed. That's why I think people relate yeah. to the characters I play, uh, generally. Even the heavy metal movie I play. Uh, a heavy metal kid that's the you know getting picked on by the bullies and stuff and a lot of kids that went through that relate to the movie yeah all that's right awesome take it still available to see you sunday yes at zany's in rosemont and it's new improved skippy with nuts, <laughs> with who, nuts? who said extra chunky i heard that <laughs> <laughs> uh, peanut butter peanut butter <laughs> i got thanks, you Mark. we appreciate thank you so it. much great to talk to you Love thanks for best. coming in thank you